Hi guys, we're back at Smash Fishing. We're back on the big tides and we're going out straight away for some big old lobsters, hopefully. We've got a really horrible wind today, so I'm gonna to apologize in advance if there's any wind noise, but hopefully I can block it well. I've got a brand new uh, wind slayer on the GoPro today, so hopefully it cuts the wind out. We've got a four, six wind hitting us straight in the face, but because we've had choppy weather and big tides, I'm hoping that the lobsters are stuck in the holes and we can go have a good uh, a good old forage. So stay tuned. Hopefully we get loads. It's mass fishing, baby. Woo! Brought my pan here again today. This was actually made by uh, Willow Quest on YouTube. Check his channel out if you want, guys. This thing is great. Honestly, it keeps my, my seafood alive so much longer. Tide's still a little bit high at the moment. I came really early today so I can just follow the holes down as the tide leaves. I like to get here just as the tide empties the holes because then usually you'll get the best of the bunch of the lobsters that are stuck in there. Hopefully there's loads around. A lot of the holes are coming up empty at the moment. Hopefully, we can start finding them. First lobster of the day. Just gonna let him get in the shallows a bit. There we go. First lobster of the day. Only a small one, underneath a stone. We want a lot bigger than that. Come on, you beast. This one shut out the hole quickly. There we go. Another little one. Not big enough for us though. Nice that we're starting to find the lobsters though. Come on. Oh, that one's going to be close. Is it going to be a keeper? And that one there, look at that. Beautifully in that one, about two mil in. For first keeper down of the day, you beauty. Nice male lobster. Oh, so, sorry, female lobster. Nice and solid. Let's get it in the basket. You beauty. I've been to about 12 different holes now and I've had absolutely nothing but two small ones. So it's refreshing to finally get one. You beauty. Get that in there. I'll get some bands on it soon. I'm just going to quickly mooch around and see, see what else we can find. First keeper down, baby. Got him. Look at that one. Growing his little claw back. Another little female there. Trying to escape the tide. It was just walking out of the pool here. <laughs> It's amazing, even in, the not, even in the daytime, you can still see lobsters just evacuating the holes. Come on, we're on a good start. Just to keep it alive. I always like to put a bit of seaweed on top. Keeps the sun off your lobsters. Come on, we've got the big holes to do yet, so hopefully that's a sign of things to come. What a beautiful day to be out foraging bit windy but now we've come around the corner a bit it's a little bit more sheltered there we go another lobster down <laughs> oh it's soft that one look how blue it is there we go another keeper for sure but you can see the sides there it gives a lot that means it's recently shed its shell. And what they do is they take on water and when you cook them, there's only a very little bit of meat in them. That's why we don't keep them very often. It does taste good, but for the meat, it's just not worth it. There you go, nice female lobster there. 
that's definitely a keeper for sure but if it's soft it's soft we only got one for the table hopefully we get some big solid ones just gonna quickly ban this lobster up you know full well i'm gonna put my hand in there soon and it's not gonna end very well There's one, that was a bit sketchy. I'll get the other one. And there we go. Tighten that last one up. And then we are good to go. Beautiful little lobster, that one. Two million. Not a monster, but it's a keeper. Yeah. Look at that solid little lobster that one nice male look at the claws on it lovely claws pristine lobsters that's what we want to see he's going to get dried out for a few hours so i'm just going to plop him in the water and he can make his way back out always got to do your good deed it's not good for sea, sea creatures to be dried out on the beach That's a perfect rock. There's an ormo under there as well. <laughs> Thought I'd have a lobster. Oh. Might be something in there, is there? Oh yeah, there's a lobster tail, I can see him. Just there. There we go, another little lobster. Where's he going? got away that lobster there's only a small one i think i don't think that would have been a keeper nice to see though we're starting to find a few now hopefully it's a sign of things to come definitely thought there'd be more lobsters around in the holes today there's certainly a few but not as much as there normally is after a storm but that's fishing could pick up yet yeah, we've got a really big hog to check it's usually quite lucky hopefully we get a beast Got him. <laughs> we got a little telephone. Look at that. Just shot out of this big hole. Is it gonna be a keeper? Lobster gauge. Nope. Look at that. Zero claws on that one. That goes back. I've just got to one of my bigger holes. There's a big hole there and there's a hole there. And I can already see a big antennae just sticking out there you beauty so i'm just going to wait for the tide to go down a little bit more just because if he shoots out here he can get away easy finally got him out guys look at that for a beauty he was a right old tough one to get out right at the back of the hole as well really nice solid male that one look at the size of that it's got barnacles on it as well but that took me best part of 25 minutes to get that out of the hole so we got him that's another keeper down by a long shot look how solid those claws are what a beauty of a lobster all right let's get him in the basket Let's go try and get the other holes because that was a nightmare. <laughs> Beauty of a lobster. Look at that. Look at that. Lovely prime male as well. Big old claws on it. Make sure he doesn't pinch me. But that was a very tough lobster to get out the hole, that one. He wedged himself right underneath the back of it and I just couldn't get behind him at all. But that is probably one of the most solid lobsters I've caught in a long time, that. You do not want one of those claws on your fingers. That's for sure. So, bands are up nice and tight. 
there we go what a lovely lobster nice big male that one hopefully we can get a load more like that look at that see all the the keel worms on it and how yellow the shell is that means that is one hell of a solid lobster beauty in the basket let's go get some more that's two lobsters down you beauty gonna have a nice old feed today it's been a bit of a struggle today i've had to work for them but we found the almighty lobsters <laughs> working our way back now guys often this is my most productive time foraging is when i go scooting through loads of rocks that i don't usually go under i catch out quite a few lobsters you know oh it's been a fun day today another lobster here guys look at that boom <laughs> oh full of eggs look at that lovely female lobster really solid it's got a ton of eggs so this one's going to be put straight back where it was oh there's another one there's another lobster in there you can see the antennae that's a decent lobster so i'm just going to chuck this female up here let's get the other one out I got it guys, woohoo, look at that, big male buster right there, and there's the female, you beauty, look at that, what a cracking lobster, woo, and there you go, there's his missus, they've probably mated now as well, so she can go back, you can go and enjoy your life there my love, Papa's coming home with me, <laughs> We are getting some proper lobsters today. Look at the size of that beast. Lovely sized male lobster that. Look at that, solid as anything. That is a beauty, that's what we wanna see. Lovely big lobsters. As always, I'm gonna get it banded. But, ah, oh, can't beat lobster foraging. I don't get to do it a huge amount. Only like three or four trips a month. But when I do, you can't beat it. Hand foraged lobsters. That's a hefty old claw right there. Can we get a limit today? That is the question. We would have if that lobster didn't have eggs and the other one wasn't soft. There hasn't been a lot of small lobsters today. A lot of the ones I've found. A lot of the lobsters I've found today are, are quite big. Nice sized lobsters. Be beauty. Load up the bag, let's go get some more. Oh, I'm absolutely buzzing with today. That's not a bad trip at all. We've got three keepers in there now. And we've still got a few few holes and a load of boulders to check on the way up as well. So we could even find more. Two more and we've got our limit. That wind has completely dropped off now. It is beautiful out here. So I forced five to six is when we first got here. Now it's like an absolute mill pond beautiful so glad i came out this way to, today it's a long old ride but it's worth it for the lobsters look at that squat lobster look at the colors on that it's one of the prettiest animals you're gonna see that reds blues greens whites pinks there's all sorts cracking little species this is the spiny squat lobster this is a juvenile they're really colorful when they're babies and as they get older they get that bright orange so that's the end of today's trip guys so we've got three nice lobsters in there two big males and one one female i believe that's a brilliant little forage so i'm going to head back home now got about a two mile ride and i'll see you in the kitchen what a cracking little forage this was i'm just going to boil the lobsters just for a few minutes and then we're going to butterfly them, get them in the oven with a bit of garlic butter. I managed to find some pink Himalayan salt. So I'm going to give that a go. Get a good bit of that in there. Delicious. A nice little splodge of garlic. 
And last of all, some good old bay. I've been really into my old bay lately. Delicious seasoning. I haven't had it with lobster in a long time, so get the penny of that on there. All I'm gonna do is put that in the microwave for 10 seconds, or maybe even a bit less, just to soften it, and then we mix it all up. While I'm on the old bay train, I'm gonna stick it in the boiling water as well just so it soaks into the lobster and then with the garlic butter on top we're almost doing a crab boil today there we go get plenty of that in there all the meat will soak that flavor up and then once we butterfly it <coughs> we're going to be packed with flavor Just about fits in the pot. <laughs> there we go. That lobster would just steam on top. I'll swap them over after a couple of minutes. These don't need long whatsoever, guys, because I'm only partially cooking them, or maybe just cooking them through. And then we're going to add our butter and get it in the oven. So there we go, guys. They've only had about four minutes. You can see they're not all the way through orange. That's a beauty of a lobster, that one. So what I'm going to do now is quickly butterfly them down the middle, slap a load of our little butter concoction straight on top. We're going to be eating like a king. You beauty. That's a solid lobster right there. There we go. And as you can see, guys, Still a tiny bit translucent in the middle. That's what I'm looking for. So here we go, guys. All that's left is to smother that butter on. All the way down the lobster. Oh yeah. Check that out for a greedy boy. That looks absolutely delicious, and it smells even better. Oh yeah, one man, two lobsters. I like it. Oh, going straight in for the big tail as well. When you partially cook them like this and put them in the oven, it ends up, the tail goes very delicate. It's not so chewy like it is when it's uh, boiled. So it more just falls apart, you know? You got all that butter juice in the bottom of the tray. Mm. Oh wow, you can certainly taste that Old Bay straight in the meat. Boiling it in Old Bay is definitely a good idea before you stick it in the oven. It is just an explosion of flavour. Mm. Oh, that's so good. It was worth the, the long ride and the four hours of wading through water. It was so worth it. Oh. And this is why I love foraging lobsters. Mmm. So tasty. That's the first time I've tried it in like boiling it in the in a seasoning and then putting it in the oven and it makes a massive difference. So stay tuned for the next episode guys. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. I love doing the big tides like this. We've got absolutely massive tides at the moment. Again, last month was good as well. So hopefully we can have a productive um, a productive few days because I think there's six six low tides that I can forage on this tide. So this is the first one. We've done well. So stay tuned for the next episode. If you want some merch, links in the description. The Smash Fishing Baby. Woo!